Hi everyone, back here again for another video. If you are like me who uses the iPad in almost everything I do, watch this best iPad tips I have curated. This will be useful when you work or study using your iPad or just to simply maximize the powerful features of the iPad. I'll start with YouTube as I love watching videos here. In the YouTube app, you can pinch in to expand the video and pinch out to minimize it. Now, if I want to watch YouTube or other videos while working or doing something else, I can do this through Safari. Here, I go to YouTube and play a video, my video, and I maximize the video first. And with this second icon on the top left, it will play the video using picture-in-picture -picture mode. The video then will stay on top of every app I open and will continue playing. I can even adjust the size of the window. Just make sure then that the picture-in-picture -picture is turned on in the general settings. Picture-in-picture -picture is also possible when using Chrome and using the same steps as what I did in Safari. Now multitasking is easy to do on the iPad. Here, I can open side-by-side -side Safari in split-screen mode by just dragging the new window on either right or left side. I can open another app via the slide over screens by just dragging it over in the middle and it will open as the slide over. And if I have a notification that I want to see the details like the banner here, I can drag it to multitasking view as well. So in multitasking, I can open in total four screens, the two apps in split screen, the slide over screen, and last can be the picture in picture video that's playing here on top of all the screens. Next is one of my most favorite feature, which is the spotlight search. With a trackpad, I use two fingers to swipe down to bring up the spotlight search. Then the second way, without the keyboard and just on the screen, I swipe down with one finger on the home screen to bring up spotlight search. And lastly, with a mouse, Again, from the home screen, I simply use the scroll wheel and scroll it down to bring up the spotlight search. Next are copy and paste tips. First is handoff. From one of my Apple devices, like here, my iPad Pro, I can copy anything from my iPad and paste it in my other iPad or even my iPhone. Handoff can be turned on or off in the iPad settings. Now let's say I'm note taking and I want to add a screenshot. What I can do is use my Apple Pencil to take a screenshot and edit it right away by swiping diagonally from the lower left corner of the screen. This is not new, but what I can also do to put this screenshot, let's say in my notes, is to hit the share button and select copy and then delete this screenshot. Now I go to my notes and paste it. The image is added into my notes, but it's not saved in my photos library. Another note-taking tip is not about writing or typing, but dictation. So by hitting that microphone icon on the virtual keyboard, I can dictate my notes and it will write down on the notes app. I can also do this by tapping control twice on the keyboard and do the same dictate my notes that I want to be saved on my notes. I can set this up by going into the keyboard settings in the iPad and make sure that the enable dictation is turned on. And from the settings, I can set the control key as the dictation shortcut. If I have some confidential notes, 
I can lock it and hide it if I use the note tab. To lock a note, tap and hold on the note and select lock note. And when I lock it, then notes are hidden. You can set up your notes password by going into the note settings in your iPad. Next, but still in the notes app, I can scan documents by clicking on the camera icon. I've set mine to auto scan, so once the iPad has detected and scanned the document, I can edit it if I want to by just tapping on it with my Apple Pencil. Then I can save it within my notes Another way to scan and save a document is via files. Click on the three dot icon on the left, scan document and same as notes. I can annotate it with my Apple Pencil and when I'm happy with it, save it and it's in my files folder. Next are just bits and pieces of cool features that help me maximize my iPad. Now I'm trying out to use an external monitor for my iPad that when I close my iPad case, it turns off the screen. What's cool is, in fact, when I use my Logitech keyboard and mouse, I can use my iPad even when it's closed. So it's kind of like using a laptop attached to a monitor. As the Magic Keyboard doesn't have the escape key, what I can do is do Command plus the period key, which works like escape. Next one is about moving the cursor. If I press and hold and then drag the space bar on the virtual keyboard, it will let me accurately move the cursor to wherever I need it to be. What I can also do is if when I'm in the emoji keyboard, I can also do the same with this space key at the bottom right. I just press and hold and drag and I can move around the cursor. Using the emojis properly can help you be productive too, right? Next tip. If I want to move and rearrange apps, I press and hold the app to go to jiggle mode. Then I move it a bit and then tap on other apps to group them. Then I can swipe to the home screen or to any folder I want to drop it in. This tap, group, and drag, it is also possible if I want to move photos to other folders and even in the files fo folder to move documents or files to other folders. Next is tapping the top of the iPad. This is to instantly go back to the top of the page. This, I can do this tap on the top of uh, the screen in almost all the apps that I use. This saves time compared to scrolling manually, especially if it's a long page I'm in. Now, when using a Bluetooth mouse, the easiest way to go back to the home screen is for me to drag my cursor and then highlight the bottom bar. Then I click on this bar and it will take me back to the home screen. But I can still do the usual drag or slide down a bit faster to go back to the home screen. Or if I slide down once, like a bit of a slow drag, it will show me the dock and this is useful for me when I want to find apps that I know are in the dock. Next, to move around apps, I can tap on this bottom bar. First, without a trackpad, with just one finger, tap and drag will let me switch to previous apps. I can do this whether I'm on the slide over screen or on the main screens. And if I want to close apps, I will swipe up to go to the app switcher. And from here, I can drag multiple apps all at the same time to close it all together. And lastly, to unlock the iPad with a keyboard is to tap on any keys. And then to lock the iPad, do command plus control plus Q. 
And this also works whether you're using the Magic Keyboard or the Logitech Keyboard. So I hope these tips are useful and can help you maximize and enjoy your iPad like me. And please consider subscribing to support my channel as we are almost at 1,000 subscribers. Leave a comment and a like too. So thank you to all of you and I'll see you in my next video. That's it. Thanks for watching.